campers. Um, we have gotten this question a lot lately, um, surprisingly from people who say, I've always lived in the flatlands and I'm going to traverse such and such mountain range or whatever, and I'm scared. And I understand that. Uh, it can be a little bit nerve-wracking. So I wanted to share some of the tips that were shared with me as I learned to drive for handling the mountain roads. And right now, we are going down a pretty steep path. And so I am not going to touch my brakes unless I absolutely have to. You'll notice out the window, other people are just zipping by, including people with trailers. And I just uh, dropped the gear on the transmission, one gear. So I'm using my engine and the transmission of our truck to keep the vehicle at a speed that I feel comfortable with. Um, it's posted 55 at the moment, and I am going 50. Uh, people are passing me. And my objective is to not overheat my brakes, because if your brakes overheat, uh, then they don't work so well and may even fail, or you may cause damage to the braking system. So, uh, going downhill, at some point, I want to maintain a speed where if I do have to suddenly apply the brakes, I can slow the vehicle and stop it um, without overheating them. So, essentially, we're in a 2015 Ram 1500 pickup. This has an 8-speed automatic transmission. And so, normally, let's say on the highway, you would be cruising along at 65 miles an hour and the truck would be in eighth gear, the top gear, which gives you the best fuel economy. Well, they, they put eight gears in this, and there are some, like Fords and such, have 10, uh, and they put them there for a reason. That's why there are so many. So you can, usually there's a provision to drop down gears. On mine, there's a set of buttons on the steering wheel. Some, there's a you know shifter of some sort. Uh, and I'm gonna drop the gears so that the engine speeds up and actually acts somewhat like a brake. So I'm going right now, we're back on a pretty steep descent and I'm, oh, let's see, I am in fifth gear right now. So the truck's engine and transmission are actually doing the work of keeping it at a speed that I feel is safe for this descent. Now we're descending a much more steep road and not really speeding up much because again, using the transmission and the engine, I will not uh, have to apply the brakes and overheat them and save them for if there's something urgent, like something that runs out the road or somebody who doesn't know how to drive like this. Um, this is one of the advantages that a diesel engine vehicle has. Engine braking is a strong suit and many of them have and specific engine brakes on them and I'm sure anybody who's ever driven around big trucks has heard that whereas it goes down the hill you hear and that's actually an engine brake. And coincidentally, there's a lot of road construction. I'm running over a, uh, like the vibration strip on the edge of the road because the lane has uh, crossed into that. But anyway, that's my tip for driving a steep mountain pass. Uh, slow down, use the transmission on your vehicle to allow the engine to reduce your speed rather than continuously stepping on your brakes, which heats them up and could potentially, it's called brake fade, uh, and could really uh, cause them to perform poorly or fail altogether, and you don't, you don't want that. So uh, that's, that's the story. Oh, another thing 
Um, I also have on the dis on the instrument panel of the truck, I have a display that lets me monitor coolant temperature, oil temperature, uh, transmission temperature, and that last one, transmission temperature, is fairly important because you can also overheat these systems. So it's wise to know what normal operating temperature for these systems are, and uh, and then just keep an eye on all of them. So going up and down the hills, this is a half ton truck towing a 5,600 pound trailer, whatever, um, and it's, I don't think it's a challenge at all for this vehicle, uh, but when used properly. So I hope that helps you as you're going up and down hills, especially if it's not something you're used to, because the scenery is beautiful and now everybody is passing me because there's more lanes. So now I can speed up because it's flattened out a little bit. All right, there's your 